Now, rather confusingly, we use I for current and we use Q for charge. Think of this as the intensity of current and the quantity of charge. Current is measured in amps or amperes, which is a capital A. Charge is measured in coulombs, which is a capital C. And time, as always, is measured in seconds. So we've got the equations down here. Sometimes this is also seen as delta Q equals I times delta T, like this. Um, and this just means the change in charge is equal to the current times the change in time. So the delta just means change in, to, again, it depends on which exam board you're following for your GCSEs. And again, when we have a conventional electric circuit, it's the electrons, these negative particles which are moving round. And because they're negative, the actual electrons go from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. But we say by convention, the conventional current goes from positive to negative. They've got a few examples here. Um, these ones here, again, identify the equation to use. I equals Q divided by T. We find the numbers and we give our answer. And I've given all of these, to, so that one's to two significant figures, uh, because our raw data for these questions is also to two significant figures. Um, this one over here, again, I selected the right equation. I put the numbers in. And for my answers, because we've got data here given to two significant figures, I've given my answers to two significant figures. So even though the calculated value was 432, I wrote it down as 430. On the other side, um, we've got some more questions. So maybe the circuit wasn't right, uh, working. Um, maybe they connected up the ammeter in parallel by mistake. I know this is what happens when you're doing practicals in class. Maybe one of the other components was broken, but it's just thinking about what is a possible reason. Um, again, sometimes at school, you might find that your readings on ammeters and voltmeters might be negative. Now, that doesn't really matter. It's more the size of the current that we're interested in, but it just depends which way around you put the terminals when you connect it into the circuit. For this one over here, we've uh, worked it out using Q equals IT uh, to find the value of 35 coulombs. And then this one over here, I've used the same value 35 in this one here to give a final answer of 1.9 amps to two significant figures. This one over here um, actually shows that, um, you know, sometimes we have things turn on for a long time. So... The time it takes for the oven to cook the meal was 1,800 seconds. Now that's a completely fine way to give your final answer, but also I divided by 60 to show that this is 30 minutes, which is the kind of time it takes to cook something in the oven. For this one over here, we've, we find that the oven takes 10 minutes less. So if it was 30, 10 minutes less than that is going to be 20 minutes. And then 20 minutes times 60 gets into seconds to multiply by the current to find that now the charge transferred is 22,000 coulombs. And for the last one, we've got some small values. So in a, this computer at this time, it was 7.5 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. You can also write that as 7.5 times uh, milliamps. So 7.5 milli is just a thousandth of an amp. And actually, actually this means that with this laptop, the battery would last, again, 18,000 seconds, which is five hours. So just some questions there to get you used to using the equation that says the current is equal to the charge transferred divided by time.